This is Jeopardy. Here are today's contestants. A lobster from the Pacific Ocean, Claude Claus. A penguin from Antarctica, Happy McFeet. And a dinosaur from Pangaea, Rex and Park. And now, please welcome the host of Jeopardy, Mason Mag. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Jeopardy. We have a great show planned for all you viewers out there. You don't have any viewers, Mason. Hey, that is not true. I'll have you know that I have exactly 10 subscribers. Remember that number. It's going to be important later on. Anyway, let's get started, shall we? Here are the categories for today. First up, before and after. Always a good category. Next, we'll deal with science. Hey, kids these days, am I right? Next, ooh, spicy foods. And finally, plurals of moose. Rex, start us off, please. Let's start spicy foods for 200. These scary hot peppers are the reason that dragons breathe fire. Heh, <laughs> just kidding. Dragons aren't real. Claude? What are ghost peppers? Correct. Before and after for 600, please. You got it. A phrase that describes several of Vincent van Gogh's paintings is featured on one of the longest running dance shows in history. Claude. What is an interpretation of the faces of good and evil and a bare representation of his very soul? Train? Yes. Science for 200? The process of turning a liquid into a solid is called freezing. The process of turning a solid into a liquid is called this. Ooh, 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 ooh. I know, I know. Pick me, pick me, I know. You gotta ring in first, Happy. Yes, of course. Happy? What is melting? Right on. Yay, I did it! Yay me, I did it! Okay, okay. Uh, kids these days for 400, please. This child actor appeared on commercials for Ritz Crackers and Cool Whip. The Cheetah Girls and Psychic Powers came later. Rex? Wait, wait, what? I didn't ring in. Um, our machines are saying that someone just hit your buzzer, Rex. Well, your machines must be broken then, because I did not touch that buzzer. Well, maybe, but the clock's still running. You're free to give an answer. I, I, I'm not sure, uh... The, the Kool-Aid Man? Nope. Claude? Who is Raven Simone? That's it. Let's do science for 600. Answer? It's the Daily Trouble. Now, you can wager up to $1,000. How much would you like to wager? I'll wager a thousand, please. Okay, here's the clue. Safe to say, these two chemical symbols of fluoride and uranium, collectively, should not be used together. What are F and U? That is correct. Kids these days for 800. All right then. An activist known for her acts against climate change, she holds the world record for youngest person to be named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. Me, 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 me. I have the answer. I know the answer. Hit the buzzer first, Happy. Right, all right, all right. Happy? Okay, all right. Who is Greta Thunberg? A fine example of a strong, confident, and proud young woman? Right. Yay. Okay, before and after for 1,000, please. A choice to order a fruity sundae by a non-unanimous decision. Rex? So, uh, again? I did not ring in. I did not touch that buzzer. You calling me a liar? No, I'm saying that your machine is broken. Okay, now. Time's gonna run out. Better give an answer. I, um, okay, uh, 
orange shabba yellow belly? Oh no. Claude. What is a banana split decision? That's what we wanted. Science for 800. This branch of science is sometimes called the central science because most other branches revolve around it in some way. Nothing? Well, the correct answer is chemistry. Looks like you guys didn't have chemistry with that question. Eh? Okay, yeah. Yeah, I, I deserve that. Just, just pick a new clue, please. Let's go spicy foods for 400. Ah, having sushi for lunch, are we? Maybe you're eating it with this spicy green stuff. Claude? What's... Avi? Uh, I guess we'll accept that. Nice. Kids these days for 1,000. One day at a circus, 16-year-old George Neeson thought it would be cool if the performers could bounce in the air as an act. Four years later, Neeson invented this toy. Over here! Over here! Me! Me! Pick me! Well, since the answer is trampoline, we will accept that. Um, okay. Uh, plurals of moose for 200, please. Some people believe that the plural of moose is meese, following the same pluralization as this waterfowl. Rex? Hey, hey, I saw it that time. I saw you hit my buzzer. You, you come back here. If you ever miss me this whole game, you... Hey, where'd you go? Oh, that bell means that we're running short on time, so we're gonna get straight into our final round. Here's the category for today. Sports films. Interesting category. Contestants, please make your wagers. We'll be right back with the clue. We would like to take a moment to thank our sponsor, Bageltopia. Bageltopia. Everything's better with cream cheese. Welcome back to Jet Parody. We're dealing with sports films for our final category today. Contestants, here's your clue. A deleted scene from this film features the main character going to an ear doctor to get their hearing checked. 30 seconds, players. Good luck. Claude, we come to you first for our final round today. Let's see what you wrote down. What is a league of their own? Mm, you're close, but that's not correct. What did you lose? 63 and a half cents. Okay then. Happy, you're up next. What did you write down? What is Field of Dreams? That is correct. The main character keeps thinking he hears voices in his cornfield. What did you win? One yay from Mason. Okay then. Yay! That was nice. And Rex, let's see what your response is. Up, oh, couldn't think of anything, could you? Well, that's too bad. What did you lose? All but ten of Mason's subscribers. Well, that's just great. Well, we're right back where we started, but I still had a fun time today. Any of you guys have fun? Ooh, ooh, I did. I had a good time today. I had a great time today. I had so much fun today. Pick me. Pick me. I had a great time today. I had a really, okay, really, well, really, really, really good time today. Okay, well, that does it for this episode, folks. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next time on Jet Parody. Pick me. Pick me.